Welcome back to Hollow Knight, everyone. Episode 2 of this game. Uh, recording immediately after the previous one. Yeah, I just moved my face cam closer because I looked tiny uh, in the previous episode. I was like mega zoomed out, which is not the best look. I mean, it's face cam, you know. You know, plus, don't want to reveal the secret that I'm actually wearing no pants. Which is how all professional YouTubers do it. Even accidentally, you know. That's like some YouTube secret shit. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how we're gonna continue on. Okay. How about I, how about I don't risk that? To be fair, I looked at the map and it does say it's partially filled out, so... I'll excuse them, because I was like, this this shit is bunk as hell, like, I got a bad deal on this map, but, okay, partial, we'll, we'll let it slide, this is where I really want it to go. I got, like, the pattern down, almost. There has to be like some sort of dodge mechanic. If that dealt two damage. Oh, did you see how I died? That's really strange. All right. <clears throat> Thank fuck we are not far away. I'm assuming dying works like in any souls like. Seems like it do. I cannot believe. Well, why did that deal two damage though? Like <clears throat> I've been hit before by that attack. And I don't remember it doing too damage. Maybe I'm just stupid. I didn't notice it. Oh, there it is. Fuck. That does do two damage. Oh, it comes towards you. Alright, little buddy. It's an enemy. It becomes an enemy. It's one of those games... One of those games where your body becomes an enemy. Thank fuck for that. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. So you gotta be careful about uh, like dropping your shit. You drop it in... Oh man, dropping it in a boss room is gonna be shitty. Right, because then you have got the body. I mean, I'm assuming the enemy is not that difficult. It didn't look like it's the body enemy. It's not that difficult to fight, but still. Alright. Because, you know, you have like the standard formulas. The one where you just drop your souls. You have the Sekiro, not Sekiro, the Bloodborne type deal where it latches onto an enemy. And you have this type of deal where it becomes a separate enemy. I think there was that... What was that game? It was a Souls-like, I didn't like it too much, where you played as a rat. Or a mouse or whatever. Uh, that one was the same way. It was where it became an enemy, your dead body. <clears throat> oh no, no, that wasn't it. You got like a companion, right, when you died of your corpse. There was something about that game. I didn't finish it. I didn't finish that game. I didn't like it too much. <clears throat> People who have been around for a while probably know which game that is. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Looks like an elevate. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Nice. What up? It's like the thing from Final Fantasy IX. Stretch the depth of Hallow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will take you where you need to go. Oh. That's pretty cool. We can go back to Dirtmouth. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna check it out. 
That is really cool. Look at the animation. It's sick. It's like the... God, I hate that area in Final Fantasy IX that does this. People who have played Final Fantasy IX, you, which, you know which one I'm talking about. Gargan Rue, I think it's called. I'm like a notice board and shit. Gargan Rue, that's the one. That area is mega shitty. Web tunnel running through all, all through the kingdom. Yeah, good. Oh, this dude just like complains. Okay, by me. So I was gonna say, um, my hair is kind of messed up today. It's because I was out with the dog hiking and have to wear a hat because it's cold as shit now. Uh, yeah, and that kind of fucks up my hair. Okay. Wayward Compass, high recommended. If you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below, try this charm. Pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings. Okay. You'll need this if you want to update your map with new areas as, as you explore. Cool. Mark benches. Oh, this is like really nice. Vendor pin. Oh, so you gotta like mark, so you gotta like make your own map. That's hella cool. I'm gonna get this. Quick of charm to activate its powerful abilities. Okay. <sighs> I think I'm gonna also buy this. I got I got the money. I got the cash. Yeah, uh let's go and check out this charm thingy. Oh, look at him. He's hella adorable. This is such good character design. Um, this has had like a nice aesthetic to it, this game. Okay, I'm assuming there will be more stuff with those as well. I wonder what's over here. I knew there had to be something over here. For sure. It's a dead end. These types of games, they always got something hidden, you know. Yeah, now that I'm noticing, like I'm paying attention more, this game is in insect themed. So we're not playing as a bunny, as I initially thought, you know. Not that it matters, let's go. We're going back to Forgotten Crossroads. It's super cool. I love the man. I wish I could draw like this. I'm like absolutely horrendous at drawing. I'll tell you that much. I got skills, I'd like to think. I'm pretty good at music. Uh, I'm pretty good at some stuff. But drawing, man? I tried Flash once. I messed around with Flash way back in like 20... Like 2015-ish. You guys remember when like... Okay, let me just check if it actually updates my map. It do. That's like way nicer then. It looks like there's something beyond the coach station. Oh, not the, that's not the coach station. That's where the big enemy is. Or was. I was gonna say, like, you guys remember when, like, Game Grumps was pretty much the biggest YouTube channel? On the platform. Like again, that 2015-ish type area or time period. And the like big thing was Game Grumps animations, you know, where people would animate parts of like Game Grumps videos. Some well, some not so well. And I was like, damn, this looks kind of sick. I gotta get in on this action. So I got Flash, because some of those animations were like not complicated. I'm like, I can do that. I'm, I'm like, okay enough at drawing to get that. Turns out I'm not okay enough at drawing to get that. Uh, like I, have de I have a decent idea of how to work Flash because of it. 
but actually drawing something is like especially animated you know like so that it moves convincingly it's like a lot more difficult than you would think oh shit false knight I did not expect the boss fight. Fuck, I was gonna say. Shit, shit, shit. Am I dead? I'm probably dead. There's no way that's it. What the hell? Oh, that's his actual HP. Okay. He's freaking out. Let me heal. It's not the most difficult so far. I mean, this is boss number one. If I die to this guy, I would be embarrassing myself as a Souls gamer. I'm assuming you gotta do it three times. That's new. Oh, shit. Okay, let's not screw up. Oh, please tell me that's it. Doesn't matter because I'll have heals at least. I was like, that shit gotta miss me. Oh! He's gone. Then <laughs> you can look down. Pretty good. Oh, we gotta go after it. That's kind of a dick thing to do. Execute this bitch, though. What the hell? That's pretty good. I like that as a first boss fight. City Crest. Naisu. Unexpected, too. So where we are is... I gotta sneeze. I gotta sneeze, I said. <sighs> ah, God damn it. You can actually see my sneezes this way. That's why... Oh, nice. That's why having face cam is doink. It's not like, you know... Some low-tier fake sneeze shit. Yeah. Gotta back it up. I like having a face cam, you know. Because... Like, some people say it doesn't add anything, some people dislike it, but I'm like, you know, a lot of people really like it. There's very, very few streamers slash YouTubers who get by without a face cam and can still be interesting. Because uh, it's just like, you know, the human face in terms of getting reactions out of it. Like, that's how you gauge everything, you know. So far, things have been fairly calm in this game. I haven't died in like any crazy way or anything like that. But I'm sure there will be moments when I get pissed. And when I do, you're here to see it. That thing is super adorable as well. Hello? Who's that creeping in the darkness? Okay, a nasty little spell, yes. She's like a witch or something. Don't be afraid, have faith, that's faith, that faith, God, I can't, what is it with me, with me in reading? God damn it, I hate not being able to read. 
It's a spell, I said. Oh shit. Did I get bamboozled? I got roofied. Consume the vengeful spirit. Tap. Oh. It will deplete soul. Oh, so it's... Okay, it's the same resource as your healing. I knew it. She roofied me. Not as repayment for my gifts, of course, simply because we're now friends, yeah. Alright. Damn. I knew it. What a trap. Not that type of trap. Holy shit. That's a Hadoken if I've ever seen it. That's an EX Hadoken. Ancestral Mound. Yeah, EX Hadoken this bitch. Uh, that's an interesting like gameplay mechanic that your heals and your spells go off of the same resource. I like it. Because I noticed that this spell thing was, or the spirit thing, soul thing, whatever, was like recharging very quickly. But that's because you need it for multiple things. Very, very well done. I'll keep myself at full HP. Thank you. Holy shit. I like it. I am down with that. Down with the sickness. God, I always forget. You get pushed back. It's a little bit strange, but something you gotta keep keep in your mind. There it goes. I footballed it off. Again, there's no way that this game is made was made on Flash, right? This I don't know what it is. Does it just give you spirit? I'm not supposed to. Shit. I thought it would travel up. Oh well. Sick. My Metroid senses are tingling. Holy shit. Yeah, that's super, you know, like when you know what's up. Now I know what's up, Soul Catcher. Okay, that was insanely easy. I thought it was going to be like a boss or something. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, it's a snail, isn't it? I just realized it's a snail. There's some more stuff there to explore, so let me just quickly go back. As I said, my Metroid um, senses began tingling because I'm like, hey, I know a place I can use this to move forward. That's the best part about these games. Again, I will go back and finish Blasphemous. Not probably not as a series, just on my own. I was streaming that game, but I don't know how much people were interested in in it. I will finish it again. Just one of the things that's kind of frustrating about that game is that mechanic of like getting punished very harshly for missing jumps, which this game handles a lot better. So GG's to you, Hollow Knight. That's hella treasure. We got Slurp Juice too. I don't know if I should be doing that. Uh, it feels kind of like a dick move. But hey. You bet your ass I'm coming back to, for this one coin. Two coins, actually. You can bet your ass. 
My bad. Sorry for killing you. Let me try and actually keep this. Oh, whatever. Oh, it makes it go away. Damn. And it doesn't refill your soul. I hella fucked that up. Um, it's all good, though. Mistakes are to be made. Let me just look at this map. Ancestral Mound. Okay, so that does signify a boss. Okay, so I, I know where to go now. Um, and I know how to unlock that little worm thing. There was a worm thing that I couldn't access. But now I know. Now I know. That was the other area too. You know which one. The mines or whatever. I wish I had my slurp juice power. Blast this. <laughs> that is so sick. How dope can this bitch? I'll kill it. I'm assuming it deals more damage than the Hadoken. Yeah, it does. It does way more damage. Perfect. Perfect. First thing we're gonna do. Actually, probably going from the other way would be better, wouldn't it? Hmm. <laughs> no, probably not. I'm thinking like we should go down here. As in down here. Because if that made any sense. Oh yeah, you can do this. Fucking dodged into it like an idiot. <clears throat> so far, this game feels pretty, you know, chill with the difficulty. I mean, I'm not gonna like be really sad if this is not like a Elite, hardcore, ultra difficult souls experience. You know, I just want a decent challenge. Which looks like it's so far what I'm getting. God, it's easy to get distracted in this game. Because. So that's soul. That gives you soul, I think. If you're lacking it. This feels boss ish. Whenever these types of games have like a long, ominous corridor, you can bet your ass it's gonna be a boss. Hello? Shit. Cruise mother. Oh fuck. Just be careful. There's got to be some self-damage on that, right? That's it. That must have been like a mini-boss. My bad. Didn't mean to kill you. There's going to be some shit here again. Oh, fuck. Hadoken them bitches. Hell yeah. That was awesome. That was sick. And I bet your ass going up here there will be a bench or something. No, there won't be. I just wanna have a quick gander. This is such a weird word, right? Gander. Okay, you can like offset your pushback a little bit. If you're skilled enough like me. 
This is a station, isn't it? It looks like a station. Door with an open slot. Oh no, this is something else. This is also like transportation. Oops, sorry I broke, broke your sign. God, I can't speak, I can't read. Should be Hadoukening more, honestly. I'm down on HP. How did I not notice I was this down on HP? Whatevs. Whatevsies. Of course. I can't go an episode without falling off some giant... Like pit. Into some giant pit. I'm telling you, there's gotta be a double jump. There's gotta be. I did, I did, I did not mean to do that, obviously. Uh, or something that protects you from spikes or something like that. Oh. I got you, fam. That was a little bit too small of a jump. It's all coming together. It's all coming together, I think. Where's my map? Yeah. Which means... We still got that um, area. It's just too, so easy to get distracted. Like, hey, what's over here? Hey, what's over here? And then you're like way off the beaten path. I still gotta check out what's on the other end of this. Like right here. Jack shit. Cool, cool. But this will hella lead to a new area. Or something like that. What up? This old village, what a strange dream to have led, you, led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I think I would have never woken. I'm sly, usually I live an uneventful life up in Dirtmouth. Okay. Fine, fine. This is gonna be the weapon upgrader. I can already bet. If I, or if I had to bet, this will be the weapon guy. Or something, I don't know. But it looks like there's something here that's making people go crazy. That seems to be the... the deal. It's been referenced quite a few times. The air. Hell yeah, double jump needed. Alright, we got a Metroid block. But we have another Metroid block which we can lift, you know. Shit, going this way would probably be probably be a lot better. Shit. Just easier. No enemies either. Fuck, I'm 30 minutes in again? Almost. Guess I can make these episodes longer than like 30 minutes necessarily. I don't know like how lengthy this game is in general. Okay. I was just about to say. My Hadoken does work on these dudes. And that's nice. Was it this one? No, it's not this one. I think it's a little bit more down in the pit. You know where I'm going. I'm, there was a worm that I can for sure rescue. Here it is. I can 100% rescue with the Hadoken. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and speaking of... Hold on. I... Just a request. If you're commenting on this video, please don't spoil stuff. I know you guys are pretty good at that. But some people aren't. There was a dude in one of my streams who just like straight up went and ruined one of the like key puzzles in Blasphemous. Which I was trying to figure out and he's like, just do this. And of course you like can't ignore it. Uh, I don't want like hand holding. But again, you guys are, yeah, you guys are mindful of that. And YouTube comments are funny. I was just thinking, some of this didn't come up in my streams yesterday, but I've been like arguing with this idiot on one of my MK videos. It's really funny. Like my MK videos get the stupidest comments. Like normally I consider myself lucky because everybody is like extremely nice. But because those MK videos le reach like a bigger audience, man, some people are like dumbasses. This dude was I caught up on the fact that I had this video where I'm talking about zoning. Uh, the video came out like three days after the game's release. And he's like, ah, fuck you, man, you're such an idiot. Like, you didn't even show the best zoner in the game, which is like Johnny Cage, third variation. And you like, didn't do this and you didn't do that. I'm like, bruh, look at the date the video was released. It's like... The game was out for three days. People, like, didn't know shit about, like, the tactics, about zoning and all that. I tried to make my video to be general. And this dude is, like, hella caught up. Yeah, that's garbage removal with my dog. She goes crazy when uh, we take out the garbage. Just, you know, dog things. You know how it is. Is it a cassette? That does look like a VHS tape. So yeah, unfortunately, some people just don't get it. Back to the comments. But again, I'm still like, I'm super lucky with how awesome people are in the comments. I bet this video is going to be now filled with like... Fuck you, Mr. Sketchhead. You're the worst YouTuber, the biggest asshole. I'm only kidding. But please. You can leave comments like that. I don't mind. This gotta be this way, right? I seem to remember it being this way. Yeah, this is... I'm so stupid sometimes. I like drop onto enemies a lot. So, so, it don't work, shit, man I thought I was smart, and man was that illusion shattered, man, okay, never mind, as I was saying, um, Maybe I'm not the best Metroid player in the world. Metroidvania. Okay. As revenge, I'm gonna find that dude. That was blocking my path. My path? My path. And kill him. It's either this one right here. Oh, this is where they go. Oh, I get it. And they give you cash. I'm like a stripper. Just throw cash at me. Naisu. Man, I really thought that was gonna work. There it is. So we need four Hadokens. Question is, shit, that thing is fast. The question is, aside from me being nearly dead, actually, there was no other question. 
Um, never mind. I'm assuming you don't want to fall into that. It looks like bong water. Which you definitely don't want to touch. Alright. Green path. You know what would be like super, super appreciated? A bench. Oh, look at that thing. Because... It's been a while since I've seen a bench, I'm not gonna lie. A new bench, I mean. There's no way you can make that. Hopefully I didn't get myself stuck in this area. I don't think I did. Platforming feels very nice, by the way. So we got that path going for us. Uh, green path. Question is, where to next? I think what I'm probably gonna do is I will. Actually, I don't know, but I've been going with this episode for quite a while. I think we'll go downstairs, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll decide later. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to do. We got the mine area. I'll check check out the mine area there, on the other side. Maybe there's somewhere we can go. Or was there a path block? I don't know. I don't remember. Was I... Whatever. I'll figure it out for next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Next time I'm going to be recording is probably on Thursday or uploading this game because I'm away Monday, Tuesday, and I'm streaming on Wednesday. So, yeah. Until then, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and peace out. Goodbye.